Oh, Lou, Andy, it's not how you wanted it to end at the FIBA Olympic qualifying tournament, uh, losing to Croatia in the quarterfinals, but what can Canada draw from this experience? I mean, uh, right now all we can do, you know, is just accept the loss, you know, and, uh, you know, just try to grow from it because uh, I think, well, you know, next year we're probably going to have the same team, and uh, this is another learn a, learn a, learning, uh, a learning thing for us right now. Andy, uh, from your experience playing in America, playing in the FIBA Americas, but also college basketball, how does the game, how is the game different internationally? The guys are just so much more experienced. Uh, you know, the, the ball moves so well out here. Uh, you know, defense is, is, is real tough, uh, trying, trying to move all across the floor because, you know, they're so experienced in moving the ball, and uh, defense is, is much tougher, and uh, the game is more physical. You know, um, I, I think it's really interesting. I think it says a lot about your team. You lost today, but you out-rebounded Croatia decisively. So it wasn't a matter of, of hard or anything else. It was just, you know, so you've got something to build on. I mean, whether we, uh, whether if we win or lose, we're always going to fight to the end. That's, uh, that's our motive. What, what do you think is going to happen between now and next summer for, for Canada basketball? I mean, we're just going to keep working with the core guys we got. And, uh, you know, it, it was kind of put together at the last minute, some of the guys coming through. So... Hopefully, uh, you know, with the guys we got right now, we'll keep expanding our games. And, and, you know, we got a lot of talented guys and a bunch of role players. So uh, I think we'll be dangerous in the years to come. Looking ahead to the FIBA Americas Championship, do you think that we can see some new faces coming into the team? Or do you think that we'll see, you know, for example, will Rowan stick around and play for Canada? I, mean, I don't know. I don't know too much about that right now. But, I mean, the team that we have right now, I'm really happy with. And um, you know, I just hope we grow from this and, uh, you know, come back again, come back harder. Um, how much of a distraction was the Samuel D'Alembert situation about not being able to play over the last two games? Uh, I mean, it, it was a bit of a distraction, but we had to put it behind us quickly, you know, uh, having to play the same day. So, um, you know, our, our, guys, our guys focused in on the games and, and what we had to do as a team. And uh, whoever didn't want to be with us wasn't with us. So, uh, you know, we had to take care of what we had to take care of as a team. Okay, guys. Well, listen, uh, I, know, I think overall you've had a good summer, something to build on, and we look forward to you coming back next, next year stronger at the FIBA Americas Championship. Uh, thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thanks.